people, welcome to our latest, much delayed, long anticipated, rip roaring, point scoring episode of WWE Supercard. With me, Big Jim, flying solo again because the little fella, Ninja Boy, I say little fella, not quite sure he comes up to me on camera. Uh, he's been on well again, uh, he's been on well all week. He's had tonsillitis, there's bad asthma as well, and the two things have clicked in together. So he's needed a lot of love, care, and attention from his dad. Which has meant that Supercard videos, I'm afraid, have just had to take a back seat, as has everything else. So, apologies for the fact we've not been around, I'm sure you'll understand. Now, let's have a quick uh, run through what's been going on this week. Now, you will have heard in our last episode, we had a bit of a spat with WWE, who took offence to us using a few seconds of their advert for Survivor Series in our BLD Beatdown preview. So, for the sake of us using a few seconds of that advert, we lost all rights to our own video. And it's just not worth fighting because you guys have got involved with your comments and I just thought it's better to leave it up there. So we had that last Sunday, a bit later in the week, so middle of the week time, quite a few of you in the space of half an hour, 45 minutes, started tweeting me and sending me uh, messages via YouTube saying, someone's copied all your videos. And they have. 145 of our videos have been ripped off and shoved onto a different YouTube channel that's got a username that doesn't make any sense. But the worst thing is, although I can report each video individually, and I've had five taken down already because I've just used five as examples, YouTube won't ban the actual user. I've reported the actual user twice for the wholesale copywriting, and they're like, well, he's not imitating your channel. All they're looking at is the fact that he hasn't got an artwork and he hasn't copied our name. They're not looking at the fact that all he's got is our videos with me and my eight-year-old son on. So that's an ongoing battle, um, and I have to say, if you ever get to the point where you're making YouTube videos and you run into a few problems where you need to try and reclaim your copyright, etc., dealing with YouTube is done via email and, and automated pop-up windows and things. You want to speak to a human being, because I'm sure if you could speak to someone for two minutes, they would see quite easily what's going on. Because who's to say if I get all these videos taken off that the guy just doesn't re-upload them? It's just become a permanent battle. Anyway, I'm not happy about that. What I am a bit happier about is another Survivor card. There's another Survivor card in the fold. Now that came as a result of me being canny and not taking my picks from um, uh, from my legendary plus deck. I'm going to think about things there. From my legendary plus deck in Road to Glory! but actually crashing out of the game and taking my picks from an exhibition deck. So what I've actually done is I've stockpiled a few picks. So we're going to do a few picks together. I've got a King of the Ring to report on. Um, I'll do that now, in fact, because quarterfinals just come to a conclusion. And it's a familiar face for those, uh, those of you who are Twitter regulars and uh, uh, like uh, some of the cards, some of the custom cards that you see floating around. One of the people responsible for those is KD Sweets, a.k.a. Project Kenny. And... Um, Faced him in the quarterfinal of my Survivor King of the Ring. Now, if you remember in the final episode, uh, or the last episode, sorry, I entered uh, my first Survivor King of the Ring by powering up using some enhancement cards. It just just nipped me over, nipped me over the butt crack, got me into my first Survivor King of the Ring. I actually got to the quarterfinal of that Survivor King of the Ring and uh, was facing a bot. There was only two other humans in it. I thought, well, great, happy days. All the bots in that Survivor King of the Ring had uh, plenty of Survivor pros, but of course they weren't powering up. What did my bot do for the quarterfinal? I powered up. So I just got absolutely mullered in that quarterfinal. So I got one legendary card from that. And now in this Survivor King of the Ring, with uh, KD Sweets and others, um, there were seven human beings. Seven out of eight. So if you can see... Um, Quite a lot of uh, chat, quite a lot of banter. It's nice when you've got, uh, there's a lot of human beings you can actually interact with and you can have a, a bit of a laugh and a bit of a chat with each other. So, um, just, as you can see, scrolling down, we've had quite a good uh, quite a good chat. There's Katie Sweets, as you would expect, and myself having a chat. Um, a Blooding Monster, uh, there's Dan 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 up here somewhere as well. There's Dan Dan Dan. So, you know, all getting involved, all having a bit of a chat. Uh, and as I said, KD Sweets in the actual ladder stages, in the three matches, he beat me 3-2 each time. And then the first leg of our quarterfinal, he beat me 3-2 again. So, ah, um, oh, this blessed thing's gone off. Oh, 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 technology problems is not something I want right now. We've got everything else going on, thank you very much. So I'm just going to have to do a bit of this. A bit of this. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Um, 
as I was saying, Katie Sweets, he uh, beat me uh, 3-2 in the three ladder matches, 3-2 in the first leg of our quarterfinal, but I stormed back. I stormed, stormed, I did storm back. I can assure you I stormed back, and you'll see, you'll see very shortly that I stormed back. There you go, as if nothing happened. I stormed back into uh, the second match, so there you go, 3-2, lost the first match, and uh, fairly even teams. One thing I did do was I, I got the Nicky Bella card, so I, I just stuck my weakest diva in for the individual matches because I knew I could, couldn't beat him there, and made sure that I'd got strong pairing of divas. So anyway, so we won that one 3-2, second match, I stormed back with a 4-1 win, and uh, right back, Aka, doing his job. And my Finn Balor uh, proking, very nice. And then as you can see again, he's uh, Nicky doing the job there. But then my tag team and my beefed up Divas uh, lineup uh, took his. So that was a 4-1 win. But then a lot of this was I was just victim to the proc again. Uh, as you can see, Nicky, I was always going to lose that game. Uh, proc, thanks very much. Support card. Yeah, I still have not pulled a support card above Ultra Rare. Still. Not pulled one. Now, I did get an epic table that I deliberately targeted from the last PCC simply because I need some support cards. But I'm seeing people dragging support cards out of their ears, out of their hair, out of everywhere, from behind the curtain. I'm just not getting them. I don't, I don't know what I can do to try and get these support cards. Anyway, lots of support card. Um, the girls did their job there. And uh, proc. Lost to the proc. So... There we go. Uh, good win for KD Sweets. He's on to the knockout stages. Let's have a look at the quick contenders bracket. There's the boys all moving through. I haven't put the names in. So it's Lemur and uh, Blooding Monster, Dan 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 and uh, KD Sweets going through to the semi-finals. And depending on how things go timing-wise, I mean, if all the technology flips out again, I might have to delay things for 10 minutes. So we might be able to pick up that legendary cards uh, in a bit. But what I do have to do... Uh, first, I actually I need to show you my um, latest addition to the Survivor Clan. Because I didn't tell you who it was, did I? If I tell you that he's uh, got a yellow arrow that's compatible with um, uh, one of my Dudley boys. There he is, it's Mr. Neville. I've actually been quite fortunate here, look. I've got left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow. I could have a little Survivor lineup if I wanted to. Uh, so, Mr. Neville, Adrian Neville, is a Geordie lad. Um, so, pleased, uh, pleased to pick him up. I'm not quite sure where he's... He's probably a middling card, I would have thought, in amongst uh, all of them. But um, but looking forward to uh, to using him some more. So, this is obviously his first first combat, first round of combat in this uh, road to glory. Um, well, if we just go in to uh, where I was, as you can see, I'm on Shemuths. Now... I've been doing six pointers. I was doing ten pointers until uh, to about uh, the century mark. And I've been doing six pointers ever since. I think I've got a title match, uh, which should take us over quite nicely. And no, I haven't got a title match. Oh well, but I've got 170 credits, so I could. Uh, well, I don't need to do a title match, do I? Because the three points will do it, or well, one point would do it, in fact. Uh, but I do still want. Uh, it's worth going on to get that um, Roman Reigns individual card because if you have a look at the deck, the individual survivor cards, do I call it a legendary card? I can't remember, it doesn't matter. The individual survivor cards are all better than the epic pros I've got knocking around in there. Now I do have a John C another John Cena legendary pro to uh, work on and bring through. I've got a Bray White legendary pro, thanks to our uh, login bonus. So there's going to be a couple more legendary pros uh, to bring in, uh, but as you can see, certainly for a road to glory... Uh, some single uh, survivor cards will come in very useful, so so I will bother to do that. Uh, bearing in mind it's um, Saturday evening, what's the time? It's quarter past six Saturday evening here in the UK. So there's still um, a day, seven hours, 50 minutes and 14 seconds to go. Should be plenty of time. Uh, anyway, look, let's get on. Let's get shimmers. Let's try this uh, three-pointer. I thought I'd got a title match, never mind. Never mind. And then once we get this, network error. So that's going to be about wasted, isn't it? Cut, daddy. Right now, I'm waiting on a network. You've got a beautiful uh, freeze frame of what I was looking at. Network error again. Come on. 
On top of everything else that's been going on this week, I am not in the mood for some Cat Daddy nonsense. Cat Daddy, sort it out, son. Big Jim's not happy about this. Now waiting on a network. All right, we're back in the room. Okay, let's go back. Uh, bouts four, play the bout. Just playing about. Of course, now this opponent's played three times as many games as the one we were about to play. I really want to play someone who's played not more than about eight or nine thousand matches. <laughs> Things always seem to be going so well. Then all of a sudden they're not going so well. Now they're doing this deliberately. Come on. Oh, let's do that one. Ten and a half thousand matches. Might be a bit tight this. We'll see how we get on. We will see, Imash. You any relation to iPad? Right, tag team Speedicus. The thing here is second guessing just how strong they're going to go in with their first matches. It used to be you could uh, lull the artificial intelligence into a full sense of security, play a weak card to start off with, and then hammer it with your stronger cards, but that doesn't work these days. Um, let's go for Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray, please win today. Uh, doing okay. Yeah, once we've won this, fingers crossed, not being too cocky, but once we've won this, uh, that should give me about 40, 49 or 50 cards. So it'll be 49 cards to pick up, and then we'll need to go into exhibition deck. Um, because I can't quite go out using the uh, single pick method because I have some bouts, if, uh, I have some credits. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do after this is crash out of the game. and <laughs> Not that it doesn't do it for you enough. But I'm going to crash out of the game, then come back in on exhibition uh, deck, play the exhibition deck, win up to three cards there, and then we're going to do the 50-card pick. Because um, when I got... When I dropped down to epic level uh, about a month ago and went into uh, Ring Domination uh, playing at the lower level, after I'd picked up an epic uh, card, which was obviously a, a top tier pull for being an epic level, even though I'd already graduated to legendary, um, I then picked up another epic card soon after. So I've just got this horrible feeling. I don't want to, I don't want to, having uh, got myself to a position, I'm going to start that again. Having got myself to a position where I'm uh, playing in Legendary Plus in Row 2 Glory, uh, but then chopping out and going into Exhibition Deck to pick up from the Survivor Deck, I don't want to get, because I've now pulled Neville, I don't want to lull myself into a full sense of security and think, oh, well, I'll just carry on playing in Legendary uh, Plus and then pull a Legendary card, because then that would have ruined another possible top-tier pull, so... I'm playing the sensible game. I'm continuing to uh, dip out. It has made this quite an arduous uh, road to glory, uh, as you can imagine. I'm going to keep doing this. But I know there's a few of you do uh, your own versions. If you haven't got any credits, you can actually um, tap on the icon that asks you if you want to do a uh, an extra pull for 50 credits. And then it will take you through to the financial page and you can then hit the home button and come back in through that way. But I can't do that because I've got these 170 credits knocking around. So um, right, so there we go. There's Shamus. He's a survivor. There's our Roman. So we're two points into Roman. Two points into Roman. And I'm still rolling along. Right, now what am I doing? So I can't do that. So I'm crushing out. So 49 picks. We're going to crush out of this. And then I'm going to come back in on Exhibition. Play some exhibition. Bit of display. And that should then give us um, up to 52 picks from the exhibition deck. And who knows? Who knows? With the way this week's been going, with an awful lot of just irritating things and some sad things and other things going on, uh, it would be nice if we got a nice pull. Even if I just got a nice support card. Just something above an ultra rare support card. I'd be happy with that. All uh, right, now what are we doing here? JC21. I didn't look at any other names, so if I've just passed someone who uh, we know well and I've ignored you... Oh, it's just crashed off screen again. Flippity-doo-dah. I'll tell you what. 
I'm someone who's worked uh, on deadlines for 25 years of my life as a newspaper man, knowing that um, you can't leave till the job's done and the job has to be done by a particular time. And you can't make a half assed job of it, you've got to do the job properly. And so to have something that keeps breaking down is uh, irritating to say the least. Right, here we go. So, we get a win out of this, or even if we get a defeat out of this, we'll have at least 50 cards to pick up, and hopefully something nice. Nice support card. That would just just make the whole of this week seem not so bad after all. So let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. Toughness, charisma on a solo match. Um, well, let's... It's got to be... It's got to be... Alberto Del Rio! And, of course, he's propped straight away. Thanks very much for that. Speed has got to be my fin. Something special. We get it back to onesies. Now, the John Cena card I've got in here, the legendary card, I've already got um, the other John Cena card. He's all maxed out and all his stats are done. So if I can get this one done, that can be combined. And as I mentioned, I've got Bray Wyatt to do as well. So there we go, we get the win. And that'll bring us up to a power and 51 picks. Right, 51 picks, at least one reset here, as you can see. So uh, let's go for something nice. Let's see what we can get. Survivor? Support card. You do realize I'm going to be saying this a lot. Survivor? That was a support card. It's uh, not quite what we wanted. We're getting close. Oh, could it be something big, something nice, something juicy? No. Never mind. Let's go again. We've still got 43 picks. So it's Nimini. We've got enough Niminis. I've had um, five legendary Naomi's. That's not bad. It's not bad. Not good, though. I've had better. I've reached the card limit. No! Right, okay. Well, what can we do quickly? Uh, well, quickly, we can go into my cards when it'll let us, when it's not waiting on a network. Boom. My cards. Right. What was I powering up? I've got a badly, uh, deliberately badly proed Eve, which I don't need. I basically now, my epic pros, well, those epics that aren't proed up, and even those I've got some duplicates of ready to pro up, it's just not worth doing anymore because they're, by the time I get John Cena and Bray Wyatt in that um, lineup, they're not going to make the 16 man squad. So, a little bit of improvement here. This will get rid of a few cards. Bing bong, bing bong. And it also helped clear up some space because I've, uh, I'm a bit clogged. What with the season one cards that I've got uh, clogging me out as well. Was there any more? Any more for any more? No, there's no more. No more for no more. Right, tappity tap tap. You can probably hear it because it's right underneath the microphone. And uh, unlike all good TV people who would be carrying on looking at you, I'm looking down here. I could look up there, but then I wouldn't see where I was tapping. Uh, what have we got up to? 24. There's a bit more. Maybe a bit of rarity we can throw in there. One of these. Two of those. Let's try another one. Go, go, go. Okay. Three of those. You're hit on the head with a kendo stick. Now, for flipping X sake, make it four. Go crazy. Treat yourself. Buy yourself something nice. There we go. So there's Eve done. Um, it's not really worth um, giving her any tokens, but oh, what the hell. Just for the fun of it. What does she proc out? Uh, power and charisma. Uh, bing, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that would make any difference when you put them into uh, another card, but I mean, basically, what, what I'll do now I've got her down uh, there is. Where's me Shumush? Shumush? Where's me Shumush hiding? There he is. Ah, oh, Egypt. What I'll do is I'll um, just take that Eve. The whole point of feeding her up was to then feed her into people like Shumush. So improve, train, divers, none, Eve, that'll do. Yeah. So what's that got us up to? That's not too bad, is it? 
not too shabby at all. Right, that's that done. What are we going to do with these stats? What are we going to do with these stats? What's he proc on? Power and toughness. 1077, Power and toughness. What do I want to do with him? He's a yellow up. So he'd likely be with Neville. He's a speed merchant. Um... Neville's actually got quite a few stats that are. Uh... Let's have a look at Neville. So sp speed, speed. Well, really, it's just speed with him, isn't it? So, if we think that he's going to be with Neville, let's just get this right. Neville's a down arrow. Yeah, he's the up arrow. So you've got to think this. Always make sure that you do things that are right for your deck. There's no right way in general of doing it, and there's no one way that would suit everyone. Just look at your deck. So as you can see, what I'm thinking here is Neville is the down arrow. Uh, you look at his stats. Uh, he's very much a speed merchant and uh, would continue to be so. Uh, uh, the strange thing with him is that that's not one of his procs. There's a bit of an interesting... Um, Interesting change in tack there on uh, card stats. Anyway, uh, so he's a bit of a speed merchant, and so um, I'm going to build Shamus to do um, power and toughness because uh, they're his strongest two stats, and they're the stats that he will uh, proc to. It's just a question of whether I give it three to toughness and one to uh, a power, or if I just make him powered up merchant first. Actually, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go all power, better toughness. Actually, for this one, no. I'll make this even, and then if I get a second Shamus, I'll crank up his power, uh, and then that way it's a bit, a bit more even. I know what I'm doing. I'm probably just talking waffle as far as you're concerned. Um, I know what I'm doing. I know I'm happy doing that, and I know that's going to work well with uh, the setup that I've got. So, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, look, that's got rid of those cards. So I'm going to go back to Exhibition. Play a quick Exhibition match. I don't mind doing this because obviously it's going to help uh, feed up a Johnny Schooner. So that will help us uh, greatly. Now, something I do have to say, which I've not said, very important, and it's a milestone uh, for us. Not a Flintstone, a milestone. 9,000 subs. People, we cannot say thank you enough for all your support, all the encouragement you've given us. We've only been doing this December the 31st of last year. So in other words, really, it was January the 1st when we started uh, doing things properly here. And by properly, it was a couple of FIFA videos and not much else. We've only been doing this for 11 months. So to get to 9,000 subscribers, we thought maybe 50 or 60, most of whom would be relatives and people who we know, um... So to hit 9,000, we're absolutely blown away by your support and uh, just a heartfelt thank you to every single one of you who has subbed. And if you know someone who hasn't subbed, or if you haven't subbed and you're just thinking about it, please sub down below and join the BLD army. Come on, you take over the world. Or at least have a bit of a laugh while we're having a chat and playing a few games. Uh, right, speed. Finish my speed boy. It's my speed merchant. And the police are as busy as usual on a Saturday evening around London. Pestering me with their sirens outside. Right, let's get this game through and we can carry on picking. It's nice to get a little perfect win, get three more cards. See what else we can get. Right. Now then, I like something nice. Like I say, nice nice little support card. 43 picks. Not her. Not that. Don't need that now. Now I've been knocked out. Not the bills. Not another ladder. No, no beardies. I said no beardies. And people in masks should be banned. No more energy. Fan Dumbo. Come on, everyone's got a beard or a mask. Come on, let's go on. Not that I'm exactly clean shaven, I have to say. I do have an excuse. I've been looking after an ill child all week. 
Ah, uh, come on, please, give me something nice for the good people at home to enjoy. Kelly store. Oh, come on, why couldn't you just be a higher rank, Miss Elizabeth? I'd love a Miss Elizabeth. I'd love it. I mean, the deck cards. Already I've noticed a difference in uh, um, the events with the uh, with people using deck cards. And uh, it's funny enough, in the team event, I was forgetting to use the deck cards. Because I've got out of the habit of using deck cards now in uh, Season 2. If we were still playing Season 1, I'm still playing my Classy Freddy, Blassy, when I do a bit of Season 1. But um, there was a few times when Ninja Boy was going, you didn't play the deck card. I just blocking it out. Like I was blocking out summary. Come on, give me something nice. As I say, my actual luck in picking cards from the deck has not been great, support card-wise, not been great. Um, I've missed out. I've not picked a legendary card from the deck. I got my freebie. Since then, I had two epic cards, which I mentioned earlier, while I was on uh, an epic tier, having dropped down to epic tier on one of the events, uh, deliberately. Uh, so I've never actually pulled a legendary card from here. They've all come from King of the Ring, and uh, or event and now here we go as you can see i'm just pulling garbage what's a garbage i've reached the card limit again already <sighs> ging gang gooly right my cards talking about my card who else can i chuck some cards into what are you doing natalia got an awful lot of cards admittedly um, what I need is some more big cards to feed them into. <laughs> the only reason they're knocking around is Bailey. I wouldn't mind Bailey. Uh, ah, here we go. Goldie. Forgot about Goldie. That'll do very nicely. Right, I will actually feed in... Diva. I will feed in some of my... Um, a couple of epics or something to get him powered up. But I shall do that later, because you're probably sick of watching me going tap, 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 doing this. Let's just do the uncommons. How have you done in your road to glory? <laughs> um, have you got what you wanted? Are you still going? Have you finished? What are you up to? If you have finished, what are you doing this lovely Saturday evening? And in fact, uh, for most of you in the States, it's um, not much past midday. So you've still got Saturday afternoon and evening to get through. Um, right, that'll do for that. Let me back for our final exhibition. One last exhibition. Halbert. So there's a few things that we'd got planned um, that we were going to do. There's obviously some FIFA videos. We did. Did any of you uh, who play FIFA 16 do any um, uh, Black Friday pack openings? We did, albeit that I was doing it late at night. Uh, well, doing it during the course of the day, but late at night as well. Um, I did film the individual clips of the cards being opened using Xbox One's own um, game system. So, if I get a chance this evening and, or Sunday morning, I might put that together just as a little compilation. So you can see we've got some nice pulls, I have to say. Uh, certainly some better luck than I've been uh, exhibiting here. Um, so I might put that together as a video, but there's no FIFA 16 gameplay to come this week because Ninja Boy's been in bed and it's normally me playing him. And um, and equally, as you've uh, seen and protested about on Twitter, we've not really had a chance to do any Supercard videos either. And, and now you have got a Supercard video from us. It's just this ugly mug getting in your face. Right, six picks. Come on. Five picks. Come on. There's an epic, an epic Rusev. That's about the sixth Rusev I've had. Um, and it's obviously no use to me whatsoever. That being said, uh, I'm glad that I got it here and not perhaps if I drop down to epic again in a, in a game. Oh, there we go. Mm, how would you have felt if you got an epic Rusev? Would that have made a difference to your deck? It's not made a difference to my deck. Uh, right, okay. Well, what can I do? Let's just have a look and see... If now we've gone on to uh, Roman regains, whether we can get into five point matches again or whether it's going to be a bit of a slog. Hmm, 15,000. 
matches that person's plate. 14,000. Let's give it one more refresh. Waiting on a network, network error. All right, let's give it a go. In for a penny, in for a pound, eh? See what happens. Unless it freezes, in which case the iPad's going flying out the window, the computer's getting thrown across the room, and I'm leaving. Uh, tag team. Tag team. Yeah, and of course I've got my weaker cards here. So that's a, an easy defeat to start us off with. How far did you guys, those guys who've got through Roman Reigns, how far through did you get before the, you hit the wall? I know it'll depend on your deck. As I mentioned, I'm on Legendary Plus at the moment. I suppose I have got time. I could work on that um, second John Cena card, get him proed, stick him in. Because I was on butt crack of uh, Legendary Plus, and that adding another Legendary Pro would uh, should make the difference. I don't know. Depends how much more I can be bothered to play and how much uh, more love, care and attention Ninja Boy needs this evening. Uh, he's with his mum at the moment, being entertained. Um, oh, jeez, this isn't going very well at all, is it? No, it's not going very well at all. Let's kick that into action. Not going to make any difference, but... Right, this is going to be a bit of a drubbing by the looks of things. Oh well. I know uh, this isn't going to be worth pursuing with. <laughs> That's a sure thing. Although, it's just not giving me my best cards so far. I don't think, have I even seen an event card yet? <sighs> right. You're not going to get beaten by Cameron, surely? That was close. At least I've stopped the uh, the whitewash. Uh, right, that's got to be Alberto Tarillo. I've actually got a serious question here. For those of you who've managed to last through to, what's it, about half an hour in. It is WWE... It is a dub dubby supercard asking too much of us now. I mean, I enjoyed the team event. Uh, don't get me wrong. It was uh, entertaining and it's slightly different. And it was quite nice doing a PCC style where it, it wasn't going on for four days. It was a shorter period. But when we've got the, the events that we have at the end of the week, adding the team event as well, we've already seen a few people uh, saying, hang on, this spending too much money on this game. Uh, it's taken up too much time. There's more things to life than a wrestling card game and a, a couple of well-known players have already retired or semi-retired or half stepped away from the game um, and I can I can understand why to be honest um, because with everything that's been going on this week not just with Ninja Boy and, and specifically with YouTube but there's there's obviously there's real world things going on there's my own back to sort out um, uh, this family member I've mentioned before who's not been well, uh, that's not resolved itself. So there's an awful lot of things going on. Hang on, let's show you some title matches. Oh, is it time to use title matches? What do you think? I could do, because I was saving those uh, credits in case I hadn't got enough um, energies for boosting up in my King of the Ring quarter or semi or final, but that's not happening now. I'm out. So I could... I could. Ooh, shall I? Yeah, go on. Do it. Do it. Um, and let's try the three-point match, but not go so mad with uh, the opponent. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, the real life kicking in. There's an awful lot of things going on in the real world that need your attention. You know, f uh, family matters, your job, um, your health. So... To have a game that requires so much attention and so much nursing. I've got enough nursing to do without nursing this game as well. So I must admit, I felt a bit tired this week. That's not helped. As of course, uh, we make the videos because we enjoy making the videos uh, for you guys. And seeing you guys join in in the banter on Twitter and uh, sending us pictures of how you're getting on and uh, chatting in the comments below, etc. Um... But I've obviously not had time to even reply to comments on the last couple of videos that we have put up. And I don't want this to become a chore. 
if this is going to start to uh, just take over our lives, that's not what we want to do. We just want to enjoy playing the game and have a bit of fun. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying ah, I'm Spartacus. I'm, I'm leaving as well. I'm not saying that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying you know it might be time to um, just take stock of what's going on and what's important. Maybe I don't play in team events. Maybe I give up my team. Don't worry, teammates. I'm not doing it yet. I'm just shooting the breeze. Um, I just feel that the actual all of Supercard that's um, that we're now contending with. It's quite a lot to contend with, and uh, you know, if you do spend a few uh, quid on um, title matches or boosting um, boosting things in that manner, or indeed, you know, we've seen people spending an awful lot of money on uh, packs, which is great if uh, you can afford it. As I always say, if you can afford it, fantastic, get stuck in, but don't stretch yourself. Don't spend all your pocket money or all your birthday money or everything just on WWE Supercard. There's other things in life you could uh, be doing and enjoying. Um, don't ask me what. It's down to you. But, uh, right. I'm just saying, you know, it's a matter of balance. It's got to be a matter of balance, this. You know what? If the game starts stressing you out, <laughs> then you it's doing too much. It's taking over. Right. Now I'm losing. I'm getting stressed out. Um... I have a choice there, do I? That's not so bad. Anyway, look, I'm hoping Ninja Boy is going to be better after this weekend. He's um, He's been on inhalers, nebulizers, steroids for his chest. I mean, you know, for a, a little lad, he's had an awful lot of medication to power through uh, this week. But he's remained cheerful throughout. If there's one thing you can't knock, it's the spirit of bad lad at that HQ. We might moan now and again, but you ain't gonna knock us down. If you do knock us down, we're gonna get right back up. So, and if anything, you wanted to actually sit alongside me while I was doing this. I was like, no, mate, you gotta stay in bed. You gotta do what's right. Right, here we go. So, got us six points there. Just 190 odd to go. Uh, now then, am I gonna take them from here or am I gonna crash out? One more crash out. And we're back in the game. And what I would say now is, look at that, King of the Ring finish. So we do have a legendary card to pick up. Now I could do with a legendary diva. Really could do with another pro diva. Um, if we have a quick look at my uh, deck here, I've got two, uh, I've got two Nimini's, Nimini one, Nimini two. So it's quite nice changing over the uh, artworks as you can. But then um, it's down to epics. So what I could do with is. If we just go back to uh, my cards, go on to Divas. You're keeping up with this. You're keeping up with this. Uh, as you can see, I have Eve. I have Cameroon. I have my fifth Naomi. Uh, I wouldn't particularly want Naomi again. So, I mean, I know Cameron's not the greatest, but right now I would take a Cameron uh, or Eve. So, uh, should we do that, or should we go on to Exhibition? Oh, let's get our reward. Let's get our reward, shall we get King of the Ring finished? Yes, we know. See how, how the lad's doing. Have we started their semi-finals? KD Sweets went up against Dan Dan Dan, and uh, Blooding Monster against them. Right. Claim reward. Let's see what we get. Random legendary card, and we get... Page. I'll take Michael Jackson. I obviously could do with a second Michael Jackson, but I'll take Page for now. And I will be changing that picture as soon as I get a chance. Uh, and the other good thing there is it's another card that I can start banging some of these epics into to uh, get my overall number of cards down. All uh, right. Uh, excellent. Now, I'm going to go back into King of the Ring now, so I'll save that. I'm going to sneakily go into a late-night King of the Ring UK time, and hopefully not too many humans will go into it, see if I can play a few bots again, sneak my way past these blooming quarterfinals. So that's two Survivor King of the Rings... And both times I've been uh, pummeled out in the quarterfinal stage. Uh, the first time was by a bot who had the cheek, the temerity to power up for our quarterfinal. And the second time by Project Kenny on uh, Twitter. KD Sweets as he is in uh, in the game. Right, one last match. Uh, hopefully this has given you something to um, uh, play alongside you as you've been grinding along on your road to glory. Uh we're playing Andy. That's Andy. 
So I'm at toughness. Um, slowly losing the will to live. I've got much energy uh, left, I have to admit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Silent match, toughness, charisma. We will use Alberto Darío for that. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm just going to say it again because it, it has blown us away. 9,000 subscribers. You guys are just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, amazed that you've stuck with us. Um, very grateful that you have. Thank you so much for that and for being part of everything that we do, basically. Um, right, come on. I didn't really need to delay that, did I? There we go. Three more picks. Plus the ones that we'd have uh, just got from Road to Glory. Right. Five. Four. Three. Shimus! A much weaker Shimus than the one we've uh, just picked up. Two to go. One. Oh, Emma. Emma Lucian. How you doing, Emma? Right, there we go. That will do for now. Uh, naturally, I can't make any promises about where we're going from here in terms of uh, videos. I will try and do a follow-up to show you how I've got on with uh, Roman Regains. Bear in mind, I didn't get the first card, so if I did get this one, it's only going to be a single. Unless Cat Daddy wants to screw things up again and uh, give everyone doubles, in which case, great, I'm a pro. Um, so bear that in mind, Cat Daddy. I wouldn't turn down a pro. Uh, beyond that, I mentioned FIFA 16, the uh, Black Friday cards. I will, I will take a look at the video um, footage that I've got because there was quite a few packs over a period of time. If you don't know, EA Sports issued those cards sort of on the hour, two-hour gaps and what have you. So there's lots of little bits of footage. Uh, I might put some together on that. Again, can't promise. All depends on the lad and how he's doing. Thanks for all your, the well wishes that you've sent on. He does get to see all your messages, obviously, because I show them to him. Um, so thank you for those. And of course, I would say to all of those 9,000 of you, if you could resubscribe, that would be great. But of course you can't. You can only subscribe once. But go and find a friend. Any friend who's on YouTube, just tell them they don't have to watch the videos. Just subscribe. That wouldn't really be much use, would it? Anyway, look, thanks ever so much for your support. Follow us on Twitter, at BadLadDad, if you want to find out when the next videos are coming out, because that's the most up-to-date, most accurate way you're going to find out uh, any of our information. And until then, thank you from here. We love you, people.